so a challenging thing about mathematics uh, texts is uh, mathematical education is often cumulative. So for instance, if you want to learn about the cryptographic protocol in Bitcoin, uh, you have to learn some elliptic curve cryptography, which uh, elliptic curves are something you'd meet in a graduate level number theory course. You'd also learn about finite fields, which you meet in an undergraduate abstract algebra course. And then those depend on uh, linear algebra and the algebra and geometry that you would meet in high school. Um, but what's great about Fat Chance is it's not like that at all. So this is a math book that's very much in the spirit of sort of high-level abstract mathematics, but it has no real mathematical prerequisites. So we uh, start by explaining probability by talking about uh, basic counting, because after all, um, some very sophisticated probabilities can be computed by counting the number of ways a particular event might occur and the number of ways it, it might not. And uh, we're hoping that any reader, no matter their level of mathematics, no matter their level of education, um, can engage with uh, this material. So my favorite chapter in the book is the very last one, which is called Don't Try This at Home. And there we discuss a number of explicit fallacies that come up in probabilistic reasoning. So uh, common misconceptions, things that people have, get wrong. So for instance, if you go to the doctor's office and you receive a positive test result, uh, you know, the doctor might tell you that, well, you know, this test is very accurate. So if you do have whatever disease you tested for, it's extremely likely that uh, the test will come back positive. But that uh, probability is actually not the relevant one to the situation that you're in. Um, instead, you're interested in the probability of true positives and false prob positives, which is sort of an inverse of the implication in a conditional probability situation. So even if you do uh, get a positive test result, it might not be as much of a cause for concern as you think. Um, Another thing we discuss in that chapter is uh, the random correlations that can come up in large experiments um, and can uh, really fool scientists and lead to sort of wrong conclusions in the scientific literature. So I, th I think that section in particular is really interesting and really fun and leaves you a lot to take away with. One of the things about learning mathematics is you won't understand everything right away. And, uh, it can be a bit disorienting at first to be engaging with ideas that you don't fully comprehend, but uh, I guess my uh, advice is to be, be generous with yourself. You don't have to understand everything in chapter one to read chapter two. You don't have to understand everything in chapter eight to read chapter 10. If you um, found uh, the discussion of expected value a little obtuse and you want to just read to the end of the book, um, that's totally fine and you'll have a chance. You can revisit that material later if you're planning a trip to Las Vegas and uh, trying to figure out how to place your bets.